plastic eating enzyme created by accident. Scientists have created a substance capable of eating plastic. Researchers from the U.S. and Britain say they have created a plastic eating enzyme that could be used to aid in the recovery and recycling of plastics. The enzyme is able to digest polyethylene terephthalate, or PET, plastic. PET plastics take hundreds of years to break down and have become an enormous source of global pollution on land and in the oceans. Scientists made the discovery while looking at the structure of a natural plastic eating enzyme believed to have evolved in a recycling plant in Japan. Researchers added some amino acids to the enzyme, which ended up speeding up its plastic eating capabilities. The team will now work on improving the enzyme to see if it's capable of breaking down PET plastics on an industrial scale. Hey, it beats throwing plastic in the incinerator. They're made to be thrown away, just like this planet. Great Pacific Garbage Patch is out of control. Here's some uplifting news. Results of a three-year study, beginning in 2015, suggest the Great Pacific Garbage Patch could be 16 times larger than previous estimates. With 30 vessels and a C-130 Hercules aircraft, researchers cataloged a sample of over a million pieces of plastic, mostly microplastics, less than 0.5 centimeters in diameter. Scientists say there are more than 79,000 tons of plastic, equal to 500 jumbo jets, in a 1.6 million square kilometer area, around three times the size of France, of the North Pacific Ocean. Researchers found plastic bottles, containers, packaging straps, lids, ropes, and fishing nets among the other refuse that have been collecting for decades. As the plastics break down into smaller pieces, they threaten marine life that can eat and die from them. Is it really the final straw for plastic? Take that straw out of your mouth. Cities are increasingly cracking down on single-use plastic straws. Americans use about 500 million straws a day, which works out to 1.5 straws a citizen every 24 hours. In the UK, 8.5 billion plastic straws are used each year. Straws are difficult to recycle and usually end up in landfills or being incinerated, but they are increasingly clogging up waterways and oceans as well. Cities worldwide are increasingly discouraging the use of straws, with some even outright banning them. Others have vowed to phase out plastics over the next decades. Plastic straw alternatives have also started to gain in popularity. They are made from materials like bamboo, metal, glass, paper, potato, or corn paste. But let's be honest, can you really teach an old dog new tricks? Waste plastic can help build cheaper homes. A New York startup has developed an innovative way to recycle waste plastic, converting it into an alternative building material that can be used to build affordable housing. The bifusion machine can be powered by propane gas or electricity. It can process all types of plastic waste. The plastic waste does not have to be reprocessed. Instead, it's shredded inside the machine before it's made into a new material called replast and compressed into bricks. The replast bricks are not as strong as concrete, so are reinforced with steel rods, wire, and layers of mortar. The company said replast has been used in projects including retaining walls in New Zealand and California, which have withstood environmental tests including earthquakes. The company has so far raised around 30,000 of a $250,000 target on Indiegogo. On its campaign page, it says the Bifusion machine will likely be available in the U.S. by May next year. Most of the plastic in the ocean comes from these countries. Plastic waste is slowly but surely taking over the world's oceans, and the bulk of them apparently comes from just five Asian countries. A study from Ocean Conservancy estimates that 55 to 60 percent of plastic polluting the oceans comes from five countries, China, Indonesia, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. Uncollected and mismanaged waste on land accounts for about 80 percent of the 8 million metric tons of trash that flow into the oceans each year. Environmental organization Greenpeace claims corporations are also at fault for selling products in single-use plastic packaging, especially in so-called sachet economies like the Philippines. Various studies have shown that plastic pollution negatively impacts marine animals and may be indirectly affecting humans through the food chain. Fortunately, improving waste management practices in the five countries can result in a 45 percent reduction of global plastic waste leakage by 2025. 
In tackling plastic pollution, everyone has a role to play. From governments and big conglomerates to the people on the street, every bit helps.